Hi everyone. So welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Neha. I take PSM classes and I also take PSM classes on an academy platform. Every day at 9 a.m. I take free classes on the Unacademy app for PSM. So do attend those classes to get better in your PSM. So today we are going to discuss the second part of health indicators where we are going to look at morbidity indicators, healthcare delivery indicators, healthcare utilization indicators. Those who've missed out the first video, the first video was on mortality indicators everyone which we discussed in detail so you can find the link of the same video in the description box of this video as well so let us begin so yeah just a moment Okay, all right. So we'll talk about morbidity indicators. Now, before I discuss what is morbidity indicators, everyone, just look at this question uh, indicators. Let's quickly revise what were indicators. So we all know that health indicator is a variable which reflects the health status of a population. Okay, and it is. Uh, helping us when we find out about the health status of a population, we can accordingly conduct the planning, right? So health indicator, this was discussed in the last class also, it tells us about the um, health status of a community, okay? Now out of these indicators, one thing is morbidity indicators. Why do you need morbidity indicators when you already have mortality indicators? So I try to answer this question. Starting point in health evaluation everybody is mortality indicator, morbidity, disability indicator or nutritional indicator. So what is your answer going to be? So the starting point in health evaluation everybody is mortality. Whenever we go to evaluate a community we try to find out about the various mortality indicators. Then why do you need to do morbidity indicators so i'll tell you that why do you need to assess the morbidity of a community also these were just the different types of uh, indicators we finished this today we'll be studying about morbidity indicators healthcare delivery indicators utilization indicators next class we'll be talking about disability indicators so coming back to my question that why do you need morbidity status and what is the difference between mortality and morbidity see mortality is death and what is morbidity Morbidity hota aapka spells of sickness guys, okay? Morbidity is spells of sickness due to a disease, alright? That is what is due to a disease, alright? That is what is morbidity, okay? It spells of sickness due to a disease, alright? So, why do we need sometimes to describe health in terms of mortality is misleading? This is because mortality indicators, they do not reveal the burden of ill health in a community. As for example, mental illness and rheumatoid arthritis. Now, mortality is death. But what is the burden? Okay, what is the spells of sickness? That is not revealed by mortality. Okay, so that is given by morbidity. Therefore, morbidity indicators are used to, so they supplement the mortality data to describe the health status of a population. So, morbidity indicators overall help us to find out about the burden of disease in a population. So, my next question that what are the various morbidity indicators? So today we are doing morbidity indicators. Most important incidence and prevalence. Incidence of a disease and prevalence of a disease. Notification rates. Okay, how many cases of a particular disease are being notified? The attendance rate at our OPD departments, health centers, etc. What is the attendance rate of patients? Okay, admission readmission and discharge rates of the patients duration of stay at the hospital okay this is also important and spells of sickness or absence from work or school these are all morbidity indicators they reflect the burden of ill health in a community then incidence prevalence of a disease notification rate how many cases of a particular disease are getting notified the attendance rate at the opd departments the admission readmission discharge duration of stay at hospital and spells of sickness. This is a very important MCQ based slide as well. Koi bhi isme se indicator a sakta hai. I'll just show you a question. Okay. Which of the following is not a mortality indicator? So, year of potential life lost. We did this in the last class as well. Year of potential life lost is 
okay which is like if a person is expected to survive till 75 years dies at 30 years so how many years of potential life lost is 75 or 75 minus 30 years okay life expectancy we all know this is also a positive mortality indicator ye humne last class padha tha the number of years and newborn is expected to live considering the current age specific mortality rate guys this is infant mortality rate death of an infant 0 to 1 year of age per 1000 live births those who've missed the mortality indicators lecture please um, go through it the description in the description box you have the link for that lecture also so the answer over here is prevalence because what is prevalence so let's try to understand what is incidence and what is prevalence okay incidence and prevalence bahut baar poocha jata hai what is incidence of a disease guys incidence hota hai the number of new cases all right number of new cases per thousand yes total population at risk okay for a particular population what are the number of new cases that is incidence when we start with our rapid series you will see that incidence is best evaluated by a cohort study okay and what is prevalence everyone so prevalence hota hai aapka total cases so when i write total cases guys it means total cases matlab hote hai new plus old cases theek hai divided by the total population at that point of time multiplied yahan pe jab hum prevalence karte hai it is 100 okay so please look at this definition of incidence and prevalence incidence is number of new cases prevalence is the total cases ab ek cheez aur dhyan do incidence mein the multiplier is 1000 so actually incidence guys if somebody asks you is it a rate is it a ratio or a proportion so for incidence or for a rate we all know that numerator is a part of denominator okay numerator is a part of denominator but the multiplier is 1000 so incidence is the rate okay incidence is the rate guys because whenever you have you will have to look at the multiplier okay so in rate tumhara jo multiplier hota hai guys that is thousand or it is ten thousand or it is one lakh but when incidence uh, but when numerator is a part of denominator but the multiplier over here is hundred guys okay then it is a prevalence or over here it is proportion jab multiplier 100 ho jata hai wo proportion ho jata hai agar multiplier 1000 hai 10000 hai 1 lakh hai wo rate hai we will be discussing this in tools of epidemiology separately also will be taken up but right now just focused on the definition of incidence and prevalence prevalence we get from which study design cross sectional study design okay so that is another important point so that was the question also uh, you must know just a second yes you must also know uh some other morbidity indicators notification rate attendance rate all of these things okay so going to the next type of indicators which we will discuss today is utilization indicators and healthcare delivery indicators look at this all of the following are utilization rate except okay so all of the following are utilization rate except so what is your answer over here population bed ratio bed occupancy rate bed turnover ratio or average length of stay so utilization now there are two other indicators healthcare delivery and healthcare utilization what is our government giving us and how much we are utilizing so first look at this slide okay we'll come back to that question again yes when you talk about healthcare delivery indicators what our government is providing us so here you can look doctors how many doctors are supposed to be there per thousand population how many doctor how many nurses should be there for one doctor okay just say a doctor pay three nurse on a chai but currently in india one doctor pay we have only 1.5 nurse population bed ratio population per health sub center like one sub center should serve 5000 population in plain areas 3000 in hilly areas population plus per tba traditional birth attendant like one tba should be present for thousand 
thousand population. See, these are what these are healthcare delivery indicators. What our government is giving us, and what we are going to utilize. Okay, that is healthcare utilization. Like utilization of services or actual coverage is proportion of people in need of a service who actually receive it. Okay, so what per proportion of population are in need, and how many are actually receiving it? Okay, so it is affected by availability of health services. Accessibility of health services, attitude of individuals. Now we are offering immunization, but many times the parents might refuse to get the children um, immunized. Okay, so this is what is healthcare utilization indicators. Okay, those who are in need of services and those who are actually receiving it. So that is healthcare. Utilization indicators. इसके कुछ एग्जाम्पल देखो प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ पीपल इन नीड ऑफ सर्विस हु एक्चुअली रिसीव लाइक प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ इन्फेंट्स हु आर फुली इम्यूनाइज बाई वन ईयर ऑफ एज ओके प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ प्रेगनेंट वुमेन हु रिसीव एंटी नेटल कवरेज हॉस्पिटल बेड ऑक्यूपेंसी रेट हॉस्पिटल बेड टर्न ओवर रेशियो दीज लास्ट टू आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हॉस्पिटल बेड ऑक्यूपेंसी रेट हॉस्पिटल बेड टर्न ओवर रेशियो दीज आर ऑल यूटिलाइजेशन इंडिकेटर्स ओके सो इफ यू गो बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन इफ यू गो बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन गाइज ऑल आर यूटिलाइजेशन रेट पॉपुलेशन बेड रेशियो सो दिस पॉपुलेशन बेड रेशियो क्या हो जाता है दिस इज अ हेल्थ केयर डिलीवरी इंडिकेटर ओके दिस इज वॉट द गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग अस ओके हाउ मेनी बेड शुड बी प्रेजेंट फॉर एटलीस्ट थाउजेंड पॉपुलेशन बेड ऑक्यूपेंसी रेट बेड टर्न ओवर रेशियो एवरेज लेंथ ऑफ स्टे इन द हॉस्पिटल ऑल दीज आर हेल्थ केयर यूटिलाइजेशन रेट आई जस्ट शो यू अ स्लाइट Yes, I've just written for you some definitions over here. See what is bed occupancy rate? Okay, so I'll just write it. Bed occupancy rate होता है. What is bed occupancy rate? It is average number of beds. Okay, average number of beds that are there in a hospital. And what is the average inflow of patients? Okay, average. daily inflow of patient average daily in patient census matlab kitne beds hai hamare paas and how many patients we are getting that is bed occupancy rate average length of stay matlab out of the discharge to okay, ke how many were rendered care and bed turnover ratio is important guys bed turnover ratio hota hai average beds okay average beds From the average beds, if you see average daily inpatient census, that is bed occupancy. Average beds के basis पे कितने discharges हो रहे हैं? Okay, that is bed turnover ratio. All right, bed turnover ratio in towel means like suppose a bed gets vacated right now, within what duration will it get fulfilled? Will it get filled again? Okay, if it gets filled very quickly, it means it is or there is over utilization of services okay if it's taking some time to get filled under utilization okay so ideally the bed turnover ratio should be slightly positive that's also an mcq which we'll discuss in the subsequent sessions so just to give you a gist of what we discussed today we started with morbidity status whenever you have to go and evaluate a community you start with mortality next is morbidity morbidity statistics help to supplement the data okay it tells us about the bird of ill health in a community all right and morbidity indicators bahut sare hain most commonly used as incidence prevalence incidence is new cases prevalence is total cases incidence is a rate prevalence is a proportion there are other morbidity indicators like um, uh, hospital admission rate discharge rate notification rate all of these things theek okay? hai other than that you saw health care delivery indicators what's the government providing you how many health workers per thousand population so on and so forth and what services we are utilizing and utilization of services also depends on the availability and accessibility okay so that's it for today guys very soon i'll come up with another video uh, disability indicators please do try to study these in term, in the way i'm teaching you because then we'll have an mcq round also and i hope it's making psm better for you thank you so much if you want to attend my free classes every morning at 9 am on an academy app i take free psm classes so hope to see you there thank you bye bye have a good day be safe